Hi, this is Dr. Robinson, and today I'm going to talk about a really great Braille music editor for blind students using screen readers. It is a European uh, Braille music editor, very direct. Uh, let me go ahead and get into the page. The URL is braillemusiceditor.com. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and hit B for button to get to that download button for sure. And let's go ahead and shift B. And let's hit enter. Okay, once you hit enter on that, and it can be a little confusing because of course you immediately think it's going to start downloading, it actually takes you to the download page. Let's hit H for download. And H again. And then go ahead and down arrow. Okay, so you could do list L and then I for item, and you're going to hear download BM 2021. And this is a demo version for 60 days. You need to download that and then down arrow. You need to download your JAWS scripts. If you're NVDA, you can down arrow and download NVDA scripts. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to Alt F4. Alt F4. And I'm going to go to my desktop because that's it. It allows you to add a shortcut. And I'm going to open it. And enter. And open. Alt C to cancel because I don't have a registration yet. And like everybody, I always want to try out the program before I even consider buying it. I'm just going to kind of play around with this. You can get immediately into it and you can start brailing music. I'm just going to pick a time signature. And I highly suggest just going through all the menus. I could not really find any videos out there showing me how to do this, so I just had to figure it out. And I may be wrong on that. Maybe there are, and I just couldn't locate them. Uh, so anyway, I went to the help menu and read all about it, tried to figure it out, and this is what I came up with. And it's very direct and very easy. You do need to use your six keys on your keyboard, SDF, JKL. And I did try a Braille display to use it, and guess what? It doesn't really work, and I just might need to play around with it more to figure that out. Anyway, I'm going to hit T to get to my time signature. And I'm just going to Braille in three-quarter time. And enter. And I'm going to do a space. I'm going to keep it easy. I'm going to go ahead and do happy birthday to you. And keep in mind, I am very much a beginner at this. Okay, and just so I can hear how this is working, make sure I'm doing it correctly, I'm going to do a Control B and listen. Control B, MIDI player dialog, play button to activate space, pause button to activate. Okay. Not too bad. I'm going to hit C to close and continue to add to that. So I just want to kind of find out what's going on with my music. Okay, let me go ahead and continue on. Okay, and uh, let's see if it sounds like I want it to sound. I'm going to go ahead and do a control B and listen. I think I'm going to insert space S to hush my jaws. And of course, you can see the purpose of JAWS because it's telling you, of course, the keys that you're typing in. So I'm going to insert space S and hush him up first. Okay, the advantage of having a Braille display is you can actually uh, see what's going on when you do a command. So when I do a control B, of course, you're going to see the play button. Okay, and I see the play button, I can hit enter. Okay, I think
think I uh, heard a couple goofs in there. Uh, anyway, I could easily, uh, I can go ahead and hit C to close. And I can insert space S. And I can left arrow. And I can go back through this and I can make adjustments to the keys as I want to. And even if my key signature, let's say my key signature is off, I'm going to hit home. And of course, I can go ahead and hit T. And get right into my time signature and I can change that also. So that is just a real brief introduction to this uh, Braille Music Editor. Uh, it's very easy. I can keep going back and forth, changing notes as I want to. Uh, so when you hear those little goofs of hink, uh, you know you can go back and uh, change them very easily. And what's more important is the student can send this to their teacher and the teacher can play it and actually um, listen to the music because most people are not Braille music readers. Okay, so that is just a little introduction on the Braille music editor from Europe and it shows really great promise and I hope that helps you uh, if you are looking for a great Braille music editor. Thank you.